Okay, now it's been a little while since I did an HTPE recycling video, but I've got a couple of exciting projects coming up actually, for which I need to make some HTPE uh, blanks that I can machine into a specific shape. So I've got my old sandwich toaster out. If you're wondering why I'm using a sandwich toaster to melt HDPE, then have a look at some of my other videos. I found this to be the best way of, of recycling HDPE um, because the heat from this sandwich toaster is just the right temperature to melt HDPE without scorching it. For this project, I need HDPE in a specific shape. I, I need um, about three quarters of an inch bar of a uh, square of HDPE. So. I'm going to melt my HDPE and I'm just going to use this mould to force it into the right shape. And what we've got here is just a really quick mould. I'm going to melt my HDPE, I'm going to jam it into the top of this thing here and then I'm going to press it down with this. There's a little stop there so it doesn't go, to go any further than it needs to. And this will squeeze the HDPE into a bar shape and constrain it while it cools. Anyway, we'll wait until our plastic is melted and then we'll forge it in here. So let's melt some HDPE. So put one sheet on there, it's really hot actually but um, so I've got to watch my fingers and let's put some plastic on there to melt. So put a couple of scoops in there I reckon. Let's load it up as much as we can using all different colours, it's all the same same resin though. And on with the top sheet, that's to stop it sticking to this hot heated plate here. And then we'll just leave that there to cook for a little bit. In previous videos I've actually clamped this down and forced the HDP flat and then let it cool and you end up with this very tough thin material. It's cut to a hexagon shape because I had this crazy notion that I was going to make hundreds of these somehow weld them together into a massive great big sheet and make an HDPE boat. Unfortunately that didn't work for a variety of engineering reasons. It's actually very hard to seam weld HDPE. One of the benefits of using this sandwich toaster instead of melting this in the oven or over a uh, flame is that actually this only just heats up warm enough to melt HDPE. So we don't get any fumes, we just get kind of very gently melted plastic. So I'm also not scorching the HDPE which is a good thing because it means I've got a longer working time. I can actually melt this and work with it carefully rather than having to rush and that is a good thing. You'll notice the colour has, has gone very dark compared to the, the pile of resin fragments that we actually originally placed into the uh, in between the sheets. That is just because the white resin has gone transparent. When we uh, when this cools it will turn back into a whitish solid with streaks of, of colour through it. So we'll have a look at that later. Right, one more press, one more fold and into the mould. Okay, we are ready to mould. So, I'm going to put the sandwich toaster on the floor if I can pick it up without burning my hands off. I can't. Sandwich toaster goes down on the deck. Keep it out of the way. Mould in place and ready. And here we go. This is the moment of truth. And this is where I do need to act relatively fast. So, plastic comes out. Top sheet off. We will give it one fold. Second fold, and then we will try and manhandle it into this mould. So here we go. This is kind of analogous to forging. Ouch, that hurt. Right, let's get that in there. Where's my screwdriver gone? Right, get in there. Yeah. Right, I reckon that's about it, so let's get the batten down. There we go, okay. And hopefully that's pressed at least some of that into a solid block. But just to keep it all nice and square while it sets, 
clamped down. Right, let's leave that to cool and see what we end up with. Okay, so it's been cooling for more than an hour now. Let's have a look and see if we can get our piece of plastic out. Oh, pretty good. Okay, it's stuck to the uh, to the, the stick there. I think we'll find. If I get a screwdriver in there, there we go. So, yeah, I've got a nice solid piece of HDPE. I can just cut off these flanges, and we've got a solid rod of HDPE that we can machine into whatever shape we want. So. So I've got a project coming up, which I'm actually really excited about. I'm going to make something really cool out of these two pieces of HDPE plastic. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to stay tuned. If you're interested to see what it is, it'll be coming up in the next few weeks. I'll be making something really cool out of these.